Hey guys, John Vaporonic Technologies here. Uh, today, wanted to discuss real quickly how to choose your next vapor honing machine. Uh, this is the top question that we get every day as a sales team. Uh, right now, that's a weekend warrior. This cabinet's a Frankenstein. It's the first one I ever built back in 2016. Um, but I think it started its life as an FL800 and you have a VH1000 here, a 650 benchtop here. The point is every cabinet has its own use and you have obviously a need. That is what you first have to understand. What is your need? Do you need something like a Weekend Warrior uh, because you're more focused on cost uh, of the equipment? Maybe you can't absorb those bigger costs like a 1000 or an HD or a Gladiator. You have to understand what your need is. Also, you have to understand is the need, um, is it a full-time, 100%, 24-7 use? Is that what the need is? Um, or do you just want something that's super expensive and fancy? That's also another question you have to ask yourself. Those are things we try to help you with, but if you can understand that, first off, identify what your use is and what your need is, and of course, what your want is, then go from there and look at the power that you have available. Um, what kind of voltages do you have? Do you have single phase? Do you have three phase? Look, we can build in anything. You just have to tell us what you want. Um, also then the next thing, so after you figure out your power situation, you have to say, okay, what is, um, what kind of air consumption do I, do I have to run because my air compressor is only X size, right? Well, the quick rule here, for air compressors always two to three CFM per motor horsepower. Um, so if you have a five horsepower compressor, two times five or three times five gives you uh, anywhere from a 10 to 15 CFM number, right? Well, most of the cabinets start around 15 CFM um, and then they only go up from there. Well, the micro, I think it's around 10 to 12 CFM. But a Weekend Warrior or a Bear Essentials Weekend Warrior, you're around the 15 to 18 CFM range. So you gotta think about that. Okay, so what kind of air do I have? Um, do I want to upgrade my air compressor? That's another thing that you have to take into consideration. Then the next thing you would have to understand is do I want a closed loop system or do I want an open loop system, right? The 650 is kind of a weird hybrid. It's not a closed loop, it's not an open loop. It's, uh, it has no rinsing inside, it has no window rinse. Basically all the water in the abrasive is stored in the bottom, but nothing comes in and out as far as fresh water and dirty water. But all of our other cabinets can be set up as closed loop. Behind the 1000, you can see a black set of basins. So closed loop or open loop. Obviously open loop is uh, more affordable. It's a cheaper option because you don't have to have the recirculating tanks. You just need a way to drain the cabinet either into a bucket or an external drain or pipe out your out your building or your shop. So closed loop versus open loop. So the way I decide that, like here in the factory, for example, we have to run a closed loop system everywhere. We don't have a way to drain these cabinets easily and we don't have a way to run water to them easily, right? It's a big factory. Uh, we, we don't have water everywhere. It's not like you're home personal shop so you have to understand where you're putting the machine do you have water do you have drain that's going to help you decide closed loop or open loop and uh, from there those are the main key things for me um, basically what we've just discussed i don't obviously size of the machine is important yes i get that but sometimes you can't afford the size that you need and it, that's just the way it works. Like you can't afford an indexing station because you have two motorcycle frames to blast or two car frames or whatever it is to blast in a year. So you have to compromise a little bit on size a lot of times, but that's what we're here to do. We have an upgrade option or a trade up option. So down the road, when you want to trade up your cabinet, uh, we give you full credit and you basically roll what you've originally paid into your new machine. And that's how we help you with our trade-up option. So you don't have to constrain yourself and you don't have to stress about not being able to buy the biggest, baddest machine ever right off the bat. And that's what I love about our trade-up program. But 
understand so you have air consumption you have power you have uh, water and drain is that accessible and then what size cabinet and then how often am I going to use it a lot of people make a poor judgment decision on the plastic cabinets these plastic cabinets are actually very very stupid tough uh, we put these in factories every single day so if you're using this as a hobby uh, obviously it's going to hold up it's going to be durable right stainless is just great um, if you have a gorilla using the machine and they're going to tear it up and they're going to beat it around stainless obviously is going to hurt somebody faster if they try to punch it they try to kick it they try to push it over whatever something stupid let's say they get mad at it right um, stainless is going to hurt somebody plastic uh, not so much but plastic is super durable so don't let that scare you um, there are a lot of cheap copycat imitators out there today that are using 16 gauge stainless and those guys know who they are because they're probably watching this video right now because they're a bunch of copycats but 16 gauge stainless is stupid stupid cheap and very thin I'll show you this little operators pendant It's 12 gauge there's 12 gauge eighth of an inch thick that's 12 gauge stainless so if we build a carbon machine or a stainless machine, it's always 12 gauge. Um, on these doors, on the plastic cabinets, I think this is 3 8 aluminum that we use. So it's very thick. I don't know if you can see that. But everything we do is robust and strong. Uh, we don't build anything that's gonna tear up and that's gonna destroy itself within a year. Why? Because we put a lifetime warranty on it. So hopefully that helps you decide a little bit easier on what machine you should go for um, just keep in mind every machine has different bells and whistles and it's like buying a car sometimes you have to compromise um, and you can't get everything you want on that vehicle or on that machine but we're here to help the sales team can help you decide what machine fits for you um, and they're happy to do that they do it every single day and as always uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel please do that and hit that thumbs up button and leave some comments um, in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.